Welcome to St. Faustina Parish. It is May 4th, Tuesday of the fifth week of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind those times in which we have sinned. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God. God. And to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope, that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived in one of the crowds. They stoned Paul and dra dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas and Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made considerable numbers of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord, in whom they had put their faith. They had traveled to Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word of Persia, they went down to Italia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together 
and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. They then spent a little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your, your friends so make known, O Lord, Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your, your friends faith. make known, O Lord, the kingdom splendor of your kingdom. Make known to men your might and glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your king is kingdom of all ages and dominions endures forever. May mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless him wholly, named forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Our Gospel passages this week are coming from the events that took place at the Last Supper. And again, Jesus, in his wise wisdom, was informing the, those around him at the Supper of what is going to happen and what is going to come. It was his way of preparing them so they wouldn't be overly surprised or shocked or even frightened when it did happen. And today we hear him say that he leaves us his peace. And my friends, if we truly believe and trust in Jesus, he leaves each and every one of us peace. And we hear it in each and every Mass that we come to, in just a few minutes, you'll hear me say it again, about the peace that he leaves us. My friends, that is an inner peace for us. So when we do become in a situation where we maybe are, have lost hope, or we have, um, our heart has been weakened, or in any of those moments where we may lose our faith, to have the peace internally so we don't fall astray. And his inner peace that he gives us and his love that he gives us in everything that he does for us is enough to make us feel at ease and to calm us. And it should make us extremely happy. We are truly grateful for the peace that he gives us and even in those times, my friends, when maybe the world doesn't give us the peace that we desire, or the world doesn't give us the peace that we need to have a positive outlook on things, all we have to do is turn to our true Savior, Jesus Christ, and allow His internal peace to work in us. 
and it will make us all feel much better. And it will make our days here on this journey that much better. As we await the hope and the coming of his kingdom, on our last day when we meet God face to face, we hope that our internal peace that Jesus offered us is enough to carry us over the threshold of the kingdom. Let us stand now and offer our prayers this day for Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and for all the bishops scattered throughout the world that they continue to do God's good work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, to the diaconate, and to religious life, that they hear God's call and answer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the respect of all life, from conception until natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have lost their inner peace, that their hearts may find their way back to Jesus and receive that peace again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering this day, that they may feel God's healing touch. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who died, that they meet God face to face and enjoy the eternal rewards offered to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now to add the intentions in which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, accept the prayers we offer you this day and grant them at your will through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, for Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory 
as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, <laughs> heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us the eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, <clears throat> with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and today we remember all the living and deceased mothers of the parish. And to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those at home and act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for joining us for Mass this morning, those here and those at home. Uh, just a quick reminder that uh, tonight from 5 to 6 p.m., up in St. Mary's parking lot, Fork Over Love will be distributing uh, free meals to the community. So stop by, pick up a meal. They ask that you do not come early. So between 5 and 6, 
stop by, pick up a meal. If you don't want a meal, maybe you can stop by and drop off a donation. As I have said uh, time and time again, it's a great organization. Not only do they provide the community with free meals, but they purchase these meals from local restaurants and they pay about $10 per meal. So it's a twofold organization and ministry that they're offering. It feeds the community, but it also feeds local restauranteurs and keeps them in business and keeps them uh, being able to pay their employees as well. Uh, June 13th, uh, Sunday, June 13th, Youth Ministry Bingo at the Grove. Um, come out and support the youth ministry uh, by playing a, a fun afternoon of bingo. Unfortunately, I will not be there this year to call bingo, so I'm sorry to disappoint those who enjoy me being there, but my schedule just isn't working out that day. Also, uh, our next Grove Mass will be Sunday, June the 6th at 2 p.m., so we look forward to seeing you at the Grove on Sunday, uh, June 6th at 2 p.m. for the drive-in mass. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Continue to stay safe. Social distance and wear your masks so we can get through this pandemic together. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.